Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our brand new webinar series organized by SG Innovation. Today, we will learn about the reasons why integrations matter for business growth, Go High Level's integration capabilities, popular integrations for Go High Level, and the best practices for successful integrations. In today's digital landscape, businesses need to be operate at maximum efficiency to stay ahead of the competition. That's why integrating with third-party tools is so important. It can help streamline workflow, improve efficiency, and ultimately lead to better outcomes. In this webinar, we will explore why integration matters to business growth, Go High Level's integration capabilities, popular integrations for Go High Level. We also discuss best practices for successful integrations and provide real-world example to help you get started. First, let's take a look what is Go High Level all about? Go High Level is a platform that allows businesses to manage all their essential tasks in one place, from lead generation and client management to invoicing and reporting. It's a powerful tool that can help businesses operate more efficiently and stay organized. Now, let's talk about third party integrations. While Go High Level is already a comprehensive platform, integrating with third party tools can take its functionality to the next level. Some popular third-party tools that can be integrated with Go High Level include Zapier, Stripe, My Google Business. How can this integration benefit your businesses? Integration play a, a crucial role in today's business landscape. By connecting different tools and platforms, you can streamline your workflow, automate tedious tasks, and get better insights into your business performance. With Go High Level, you can integrate with a wide range of third-party tools, from marketing automation to payment processing to take your business to the next level. Go High Level Integration Capabilities. Go High Level offers a robust integration framework that enables you to connect with various tools and platforms seamlessly. You can integrate with Go, uh, Go High Level using webhooks, Zapier, or custom API integrations. With webhooks, you can set up real-time notification and trigger action with specific events in Go High Level. With Zapier, you can create automated workflows between Go High Level and other apps. And with custom API integration, you can build your own integrations to meet your specific business needs. By integrating with Stripe, GHL can expand its payment option, making it easier for customers to pay for goods and services. However, there are also some important considerations when integrating with third-party tools. Data privacy, compatibility, and uh, security are all important factors to keep in mind. That's why it's important to follow best practices, such as testing your integrations, documenting your workflows, and communicating with support teams. Now we will discuss some popular integration for Go High Level. There are many third-party tools that you can integrate with Go High Level. Here are some of most popular integration that our customer loves, such as Stripe. Stripe is actually connect Go High Level with uh, to accept payments and manage your billing seamlessly. Now, uh, if I talk about Google My Business, we can integrate Google My Business with Go High Level to help businesses manage their online presence more effectively. With Go High Level, businesses can manage their Google My Business profile, respond to reviews, and track their online reputation in one place. Zoom to assist organization in more efficiently managing their online meetings. We can combine Zoom with Google uh, Go High Level. Now, I would like to request Sashant to show some real life example of few popular third party tools. Uh, integration with GHL. Uh, yes, thank you, Setu. So uh, I'll be showing you how we can, you know, practically integrate these third-party tools with uh, Go High Level. So I'll be showing you uh, Stripe and then Google My Business and Zoom. So for this, uh, I'll just head to my this thing Go High Level account. Okay, so to integrate, uh, so I'll start with Stripe. So to integrate with uh, your Go High Level, you have to first go to your sub account. And then after you have uh, chosen your sub account, then you can go to payments and then integrations. And here you will get the, get the options to, you know, uh, integrate with Stripe. So here I have already selected. So I can uh, show you like again, I'll just disconnect it. 
So it will give this option to connect with Stripe. So I'll just click on it and make sure you are, you are already logged in in your Stripe account. So I have already logged in in my Stripe account and, and it shows me like uh, my company name and I can, I'll just hit the connect button. Yeah, and that's it. Like if I go to my integrations and we, you can see like the Stripe is enabled. So to give you one use case of Stripe, uh, so I have created one funnel. So we can go to sites and then funnels. So here is a basic uh, form uh, with the Stripe one step form and a thank you page. So uh, if I go inside that form, then you can see like uh, I've used one, uh, this thing, I'll just show it add element. So it's a one step order form, which I have used over here. And then I have customized it according to my needs. So we can test this out. So to do this, uh, just open it in a new tab and can fill the details. So I'll just quickly fill this. Uh, give a number, let's say. So I can just use it a fit filler and then just change this. Yeah, and so one more thing we have to make uh, sure is that we have to create a product. So to create a product, uh, we will go to uh, payments again, and then uh, click on products. So this is a product which I have created. Uh, so let's say you're selling a course kind of, you're selling courses. So you can create a product over here. If I can show you like what it is. So you can give the product name and then the description about your product and then what it is. It's a physical good or digital good or service. So once you can also add a thumbnail image and then just click on save button. So I've already created this product uh, and uh, you have to integrate this uh, with your, this thing in your funnel. So it's the same thing, just go to sites. Again, uh, just go to that. And here we will see that there's a product option and you have to click on add product and add your product. So I have already added it over here. So, and that's why we can see it's over here that we have this option to add a product over here. So, and in the end, we will give the credit card details for the payment. And so I have one uh, test account credit card. So, which is, and just give us expiry date, which is and CVV. And once you click on the complete order, it will uh, redirect you to the thank you page. And also you can uh, automate this, like once someone has submitted this button, you can create a workflow and uh, send an email to that particular person. Yeah, so that is pretty much about the Stripe, Stripe this thing, a use case for Stripe. So let's move on to the next one, which is Google My Business. So basically uh, Google My Business, uh, let's say you have a small business and uh, such as a local bakery or something like that, and you want to increase your online visibility uh, to attract more customers. You can use Google My Business to manage your online presence and make it easier for your customers to find you. So at first you will need to create a Google My uh, Business account and give your basic information and and you can you, you will have access to some features which is like uh, google maps uh, google search uh, then reviews you can uh, give reviews to your this thing someone can give a review to you then also you can add photos so this is how it kind of looks in your this thing when you search something on your google uh, and yeah, and this is a, these are all your like, you know, you can add the essential info over here. You can add your images in this. And also you can 
give all your details over here. So yeah, that's pretty much the basic thing about Google My Business. So the most important part is uh, that it uh, improves your this thing online presence once you have your Google My Business account. So now let's see like how we can integrate it in a go high level. So to do that uh, again, uh, we have to just go to settings. Just quickly go again. Uh, so in the sub account, you have to go to settings and then integrations. Uh, so yeah, so from here you can integrate your Google My Business account and and so yeah. So one more uh, good thing about Google My Business account is the reviews. You can manage your reviews kind of. So and to do that, like I, there's a something option known as review reputation management where. You can uh, ask your uh, current contact, like who are in your go high level, that to uh, give some reviews for your business. So, so it can be done. Uh, there are two options, which is mainly SMS review. You can send a SMS to them uh, for asking a review about your business or something, and then you can also give a email review request. So. So uh, one thing, one I have one example to show you a demo one, uh, which is so once I click on this send review request, so I will search for a person. So I'll just add my one because I'm I'm already added. And if I click on the send review invite, so now I have received in my Gmail uh, email. This is the one. So here it is asking me like, would you like kind, uh, be kind to recommend us? So if I click on yes button, so it will redirect me to this uh, actually giving a five star rating or, or three star or whatever. But and there's one more catch is like uh, if someone gives us a rating less than three stars, so it will ask them to fill this form, and then uh, when he or she fills this form, then it will uh, go to us, like for the businesses, like someone has filled a, uh, uh, give a, given a review, which is less than three stars. And then uh, that particular person can take a take up that action. So this is uh, pretty much about Google My Business. Uh, basically, yeah, you can uh, also is that once you have integrated your business, Google My Business account, all those reviews, so you can manage it through reputation management, uh, which is really nice. And yeah, that's pretty much about it. So, and the last one, uh, which is left is the Zoom, integration of Zoom. Uh, Zoom is, uh, I think everyone knows about Zoom. Uh, you can uh, do meetings, online meetings with Zoom. So, and to do, to integrate your Zoom account, uh, you have to again, go to settings and then click on my profile and then scroll down and you will find over here that uh, zoom integration option so again i have already integrated over here and so also once you have integrated it it's simple you have to just click on connect and then it will just ask you to log in with your zoom account so once you have done it uh, then you have to make also make sure that here instead of custom it is selected your zoom account and then uh, just click on update so now once the Zoom is integrated with your this thing, go high level. Uh, you can now integrate it with your calendars and all. So uh, for demo purposes, I have created one uh, calendar over here, uh, appointment webinar. And uh, here we can see like uh, the options. Uh, so at first you need to add the user to whom the email will go, like when someone submits. So a uh, user I have selected over here, then the name. Uh, so it's an appointment, so you can give the name of it. And then you can also add a description. Then this is the slug which you can add and just click on save. So this is the uh, scheduling timing. Uh, you can uh, modify it according to yourself, uh, according to your need. And after that, once you're done, uh, so there's one more thing is like, uh, you can integrate payment options with calendar. So another use case for Stripe would be, uh, you can uh, integrate that uh, Stripe account with your calendars. So let's say you, you are a consultancy firm, like you're giving consultancy or something like that, then you can charge them uh, when uh, someone books through this calendar. So once everything is done, just click on complete. So 
I have already done. So now to test this, I just quickly refresh this. So I have already opened it, the that calendar in a new tab. So so I just fill out the form, uh, this calendar. So I'll just give a random date and time and click on continue. So here it will ask for the for some details. Just quickly provide it. And then your email. And you can uh, schedule the meeting. So once that particular person has filled this for, uh, calendar, so he has that option to, you know, it can he can add it to the calendar. So if I click on it, and click on save. So, and if I go to that particular date, which is tomorrow, and here you can see that the uh, meeting is booked. And also from our side, like uh, we will get this, uh, an uh, email saying that uh, someone has booked a meeting. So it's kind of a reminder, kind of a confirmation email. And yeah, that's pretty much about it. So that's how we can, there are other integrations as well. Like we can integrate Zapier and then other, other, uh, other integrations as well. So this is pretty much about it. This brings us to the end of the session. Thank you, Shetu and Sashan. This truly was an insightful session, and I'm sure we've all learned a great deal today. I would also like to thank the audience for being here with us tonight. Do stay tuned for more exciting webinars that we will host in the future. Thank you.